Hi everyone, welcome. I am Jacob and this is a video, a campaign playlist introduction video to all of you so that you can learn about what's on our channel already and what we will continue to be making. Now, because YouTube only allows us to post like five links up there, all these links are going to be in the description below. So I'll post a couple of important links up there and I'll talk about the little annotations, but for the most part, rest assured, everything is down in the description below. As I said in this video, I want to talk about the different playlists and campaign playlists that we have up on this channel. I'm going to go chronologically, but backwards, <laughs> because I think at the very least you should know what we're posting now and frequently updating. As I said in the channel trailer, we have two ongoing campaigns. Here at the Starlight Company, we like to play two campaigns at once. We have two DMs, myself and Austin, at least main DMs, and we alternate back and forth every week. This gives both of us time to rest and think about more impactful moments to put in sessions, and it also lets you, the viewers, uh, be able to participate in two ongoing campaigns, to not, you know, catch the same DMing style every week, to be able to, to have a little bit of change up every week. Our two campaigns that we're running right now are Fragments, which I am running. It is currently around episode 30 and is nearly two years old, which is absurd to me. It's a D&D 5v campaign, and it's a lot of fun. It is uh, highly focused on the players and the characters, and all I can say is, wow, check it out. Look up there. Awesome. I love running it, and I'm really excited to see where it goes from here on out. A little synopsis. The party is traveling among the world, figuring out the deep vestiges of arcana in the world and trying to solve threats large and small everything is very tied into player backstories and it brings out a lot i think in my players and their improv skills it's a lot of fun a lot of adventure the other campaign we're running right now is god killer it's a campaign that austin is running and it is also a 5e campaign this is based around a group of students and teachers from the Lorelda University, and the teacher's tenure is at stake. Because of this, the group travels into the mountains in search of ancient artifacts, and Austin is just throwing so much lore into the world, so it's a fun deep dive for some more historically minded uh, players and viewers. Those are the two campaigns we're running at the moment. A few months ago, Austin ran a Pathfinder 2 campaign called the Drowned City. The style of the campaign was a mega dungeon, and the party was traveling into the Drowned City uh, in search of ancient artifacts and cures, people, all sorts of things. It was a lot of fun, but unfortunately, it is on a hiatus at the moment. It may be returned to in the future, but even if we don't return to it, it's well worth checking out. So be sure to watch what we have up there. It is a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and next that leads us to The Undaunted. This was a redo at my first campaign that I ever ran. Uh, we only ran for a few sessions. It also was on a hiatus, but as all of the members of that campaign are within the Starlight Company, I still want to return to it someday. It's based in the same world that Fragments is, and they are happening essentially concurrently. So I would like to revisit it and uh, go along that journey. It's a nice little intro to a campaign, and I hope that you will check that out as well, be intrigued, and if you are, let me know, and I would love to continue it. The final campaign that I wanted to talk about is Among the Bones of the Second Age. This is the first campaign that Austin ran for us as a group. It was a few years ago, and it was a lot of fun. It was based in the deserts of Chaldean, and this small group of adventurers was traveling to find archaeological discoveries, it is a short campaign at only eight sessions, and it reaches its logical conclusion then. I think although it is so short, it is well worth the watch because there are so many fantastic character and story moments in that campaign. I would say this is an essential to check out if you aren't necessarily wanting to swallow all of Fragments or Godkiller at this moment and just want to see how we roleplay in general. Or if you're caught up, of course. It's a great campaign. Unfortunately, the Undaunted and Among the Bones of the Second Age, we did not have 
face cams for. So they are purely audio, but we've put things on the screen for you so that you can at least be looking at something to see, to have some visual context for what's going on. And I will note at this point as well, Fragments for the first 13 or 14 episodes is purely audio. We did not start streaming and recording with our faces until about episode 14 or 15. However, after that and all of the sessions that we stream from here on out are uh, with face cam so you can see all of our reactions and uh, live the journey along with us. Those are the D&D campaigns we have up on our channel and Pathfinder. But we also love playing one-shots of all different kinds of game types. Up there is the playlist of one-shots that we have for you. We've played things like Blade in the Dark, Alien, Masks, A New Generation, Next Generation, and many more. And we will, of course, be expanding that register as time progresses. These are fantastic little bite-sized pieces of Starlight Company, and it's honestly a ton of fun every time we play a one-shot. The DMs for those one-shots range from Austin to myself to anyone else in the Starlight Company who wants to run a session or two. And of course, there's a little more chaos in those than our main campaigns, but it's always a lot of fun. On our channel, there will also be several D&D or tabletop role-playing game related playlists that will cover all sorts of series, such as our World Building 101 series that we've been working on with Austin and myself. This teaches you how to build a world from scratch. If you want to be a DM someday or build a world, I highly recommend checking it out because it compresses the potentially daunting task of building a world from scratch into such easy, more manageable bite-sized chunks. And finally on the D&D spectrum, Austin and I both enjoy doing DM Austin and I both enjoy doing DM prep sessions for both of our ongoing campaigns. This is essentially when we go through our plans, we either start planning in the video or go back through all of our plans for the session and talk about what we've planned, how we went about planning it. If you aren't exactly into the presentational sort of videos where someone teaches you how to DM, maybe you'd like to check out how two DMs work, how they plan their sessions, and then you can see in the session VODs how it all went down, how it played out, what was improvised, what wasn't. And finally, we have a game night playlist. I mentioned before that we play games all the time, and every Friday we do game nights on our Twitch, which of course I recommend checking out. These game nights are fairly chaotic, bits of gaming fun, and occasionally we upload them to our channel. So check out that playlist below if you want to watch some fun, longer form, less professional videos made by us where we just chill and hang out with chat or, you know, talking to each other. And last but not least, we have compiled a list of shorts that we've put together. These are ranging anywhere from three to 20 minutes. They are funny, humorous, exciting, good role-playing moments, or just fun little conversations that we have. Typically edited, these small videos capture a moment in time. As before, these are more bite-sized chunks, so you can get a little taste of what's happening in different campaigns, or just when we're chilling, what our streams have to offer. So check out that playlist below as well. So those are all the campaigns that we have up on our channel. We've played more amongst ourselves, but we feel that these best represent us as the Starlight Company. We hope that you enjoy all of our videos, all of our campaigns, everything that we have here, and everything that we will be making in the future. Thank you for watching. Please check out all of those playlists. Let us know what you think, and have a wonderful Telltale Day.